Morning everybody. Welcome back. Um, just had uh, quite a few new subscribers recently. Um, so for the benefit of the new subscribers, I just want to say welcome to the channel. Um, that we're at, uh, on, on a site called Red Kite in Wales and we got a deal um, in on the 1st of March um, it was six weeks for £200 <laughs> um, so we're here until the 13th of April um, we don't normally spend so long on a site but it was it was a a, a deal I couldn't refuse. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and it's been very nice. Mm. Well, um, I enjoyed it. Here we have. You can't believe that two days ago we were basking in sunshine. Uh, yesterday we never got out because it just poured down. Well, you mm. went out in the morning. Yeah. With I went uh, down Graham to and Wendy to Lannidlois and. Uh, uh, to get a few bits while I was researching this boiler, boiler. Mm. Um, and and it wasn't too bad, and then it it, it, it rained, just threw it down for the rest of the day, and that has turned into snow mm. overnight. So we've actually got snow. Um, I'm about to show you, it, show you the snow on them there mm. hills. Can you see? Uh, oh, wait melting. a minute, am I? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Showing them that one. Where? Oh, I'm showing them over there where it's white over oh. over there. Can you see? All right. Um, and it's cold. Very cold today. Yeah, mm. it is. Um, now the good news is I fixed the boiler. No squeaks. Can you believe it? Um, Later on in the afternoon yesterday, it um, we got some gaps in the rain. So when it had stopped raining, I went out. It was squeaking, was the boiler, mm -hmm. um, a bit. And I went out and um, went into the side door underneath the, the, the bed where the storage is, where the boiler is. And I've shown you a bit of film. I'll put it on now. Right. I have fixed this boiler and the culprit was that there. When I pushed that in with my finger it made the noise. The, the fan is catching on that arm there. So I tried pulling it out with my mole grip. I tried pulling that out with my mole grips but it didn't work. So I hit it that way. And now it's no longer catching on it and it's working fine. And there you saw w what I did um, with the boiler and ever since it's been perfect. Yeah. And, and last night I had it set, the thermostat set on number three. I don't know what temperature it keeps it at, not very warm. Uh, well, probably. It uh, were all right though, wasn't it? Yeah, it just... Just took chill off, I think. Yeah, just just to take the chill off. Um, but I haven't been able to do it before. I only do it when it's going to be really cold. Um, like last night, I think mm. it's going to be a cold again tonight. Um, because I haven't been able to do it because it, it starts screeching and wakens us up. Um, whereas last night, it just cruised yeah, away all night, never made a muff. Um, all evening and yeah, all evening, night, all through night, morning. and this morning I put it on mm. on boost with the turn the thermostat up. It's on gas and electric, and the gas came in and uh, boosted it, and it's been fine, brilliant. So let's hope that's it. Mm. Yeah, don't have to do any more to it. Hopefully. Problem solved. Um, anything I might have forgotten about, Pat, haven't you? Um, 
No, don't think so. No. No, I don't think no. so. Um, no, I've... This. <laughs> this is book. the next <laughs> book of letters. It goes from letter 34... Or does it go up to this one? To letter 108. Ooh, does this one? 300 letters, <laughs> this. All in all, if you're new to the site, Pat and I wrote 300 letters to one another in 1966 when we met. And uh, well, I was in Germany in the army and we wrote to one another and we wrote 300 letters and I transpose them all into this book these books this is the second book um and i've been reading them out uh, but not <laughs> that's got to take some doing hasn't it sitting reading all these letters and putting them into books i am putting them all in date, <laughs> in order. date order when i retired in 2016 <laughs> that's what i did it took me about what six months maybe mm. to do it um so now, the last letter I wrote to Pat, I was in hospital and it was on the 13th of December and I was due to come home for Christmas on the 21st. Well, this letter is the 29th of December 1966 and I've come back, so I did go home. And this is a letter that I wrote to Pat, excluding the fruit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Darling Pat, you've got your, your, I've post, got your, Sunday, your name. Sunday name. I got to Luton at 7.30 a.m. Wow. And got a taxi to the airport. On the train to Luton station after leaving you, I fell asleep all the way. Due to adverse weather conditions, we had to go to London airport and we didn't set off while 2 p.m. I was asleep for the whole flight to Bremen, so I flew to Bremen. Bremen. Oh. I didn't re remember that. I woke up with my shirt wide open, covered in sweat. Then we got the bus to the camp and I sorted out my locker, unpacked, had a shower and a shave, and went out for a couple of beers. Got my priorities right there. <laughs> I hope you aren't too upset by me coming back, but that's how it has to be. You will probably think I am soft or I cried tonight, real tears, but I must buck up and face up to it. <laughs> I am missing you already. Hope the papers went okay. Pat, Pat was delivering papers. Um, he had a paper round. I did. And I used to carry a bag. You did, when you were home. When I were home. I told Frank, I think that was Frankie B, Frankie Beadle, I am going to get engaged in October, and he was dead chuffed. Mm -hmm. Right, the following October. The following October, oh. all right. That's a bit precise, isn't it, love? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I will, I'm very precise. <laughs> we know we are going to get married for certain, which I am sure we will, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry Pat, but that's all I can think of to say except I love you more than words can say hope you still love me all my love to my darling Pat Trev kiss 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 <laughs> he's soppy yeah. he's soppy <laughs> uh, so that's that's it yeah I never mm -hmm. remembered flying back to Bremen Right. Because yeah. it's usually Hanover mm. where I flew to, if I flew. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's another little bit. It's a long way to go. <laughs> what? To... Germany, right back out. Well, the, the actual, all these letters, it's a long way to go, isn't it? Mm. You're only in... Yeah first few months so we've seen each other twice yeah for two weeks mm. so we've had we actually have only had two weeks together yeah um 
in that time from October to well end of December yeah three months we've had two weeks together that is <laughs> weird isn't it <laughs> I know yeah yeah I wonder if um, other people have got um, were cer so certain yeah. so sure I mean I was within first the first day I met you I knew I was going to marry you I don't know why <laughs> oh I do because <laughs> like that subscriber said I, I hit the I hit the, I struck gold <laughs> and I knew it oh uh, mm. yeah that uh few dates, haven't you? It wasn't like you didn't... I've gone out with plenty of girls, plenty of yeah, girls. I had, yeah, yeah. Why I should have the structure be so different, I don't know. Well, you were made for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you heard the, the song. Yeah. yeah. Freddie and the Dreamers sang yeah. that, didn't they? Yeah, did. Yeah. Mm. So, what do you think we're, we're going to get up to today, love? It doesn't look like... Well, I don't know. Um, we were stuck in yesterday yeah. all day. Oh. Um, if it stays dry, we'll nip down to Graham and Wendy's. Yeah. Well, we we'll, were supposed to go for a coffee yesterday, but you I didn't want to get wet through. <laughs> she didn't want to go out in rain. <laughs> I'm a fair weather friend. She got... She got stuck in front of that television, well, videos, what, NCIS videos? Yeah. She's got these NCIS videos and nothing will move her. Oh, what, it's CSI? Yeah. CSI, CSI, whatever. So, but one of them. Yeah. Mm. And you couldn't, you'll never move her mm. when she gets in front of them. Videos. Or something on the TV that's interesting to me, yeah. not to anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. And then we watched Airspray last night, didn't we? Airspray? Yeah. Well, it was a musical. Yeah, wasn't which it, really? Trevor didn't like musicals. Mm. I must yeah. admit it. <clears throat> what it a bit but I was amazed. We didn't know when we started <clears throat> watching it. We didn't know anything about Airspray, but we didn't know that John Walter was a Plain this, mother. <laughs> this woman. We didn't. We didn't he was didn't brilliant, look, really. Look anything look how like he did that. Felt. Did he? No. Didn't look anything like his Well, he was, he had his face. So you sort could, of. When, once you told me, I could see it in his face, but I had no idea before no. you. you, you halfway through the film, you got a cassette cover and you were reading. I, I thought, now I'm sure I know him, but who is he? <laughs> we knew it were a man, but we weren't sure who it was. What's that film made in, in 2007? And was it depicting the 60s? I think it was depicting the 60s. Yeah. It seemed to be them sort of clothes. All the in dances, America, the dance, the movement, dance movements that they were doing were all the, typical good. America America in the 60s. Yeah, and the clothes they were wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't wearing quite so... Well, they, they, they do exaggerate it mm. a bit, don't they, for these... These mm. things, yeah. Mm. Um, Lovely, colourful clothes. And that second, because the previous night we'd watched um, the bee one, haven't we? Secrets of, Secret Life of Bees. Oh, oh yeah. And Queenie Latifer were in it. Yeah, well, And she were in Airspray yeah, as well. Yeah, she was, yeah. Yeah. One of my favourite actors, actresses is Queenie Latifer. Yeah, you like her, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that very good. That was a, a good film as well. Yeah. Secret Life of Bees. It was good. The the, the it, these uh, some of the videos that um, Anita brought for us. Mm. Um, that we're watching now. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Yeah. We've still a few more, haven't we? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, so with, with no travels, um, 
no travel bits and pieces in on this video I'm afraid no, no, sorry. we didn't go anywhere yesterday because of weather um, so I can't sh show you an out um, hmm. yeah um, well, think... Wendy and I only went to butchers again and um, where Trevor already showed you in old Oh, old, um, <clears throat> town hall and then a couple of doors down there's a wet fish deli we went in there you got some haddock yeah we haven't been able to get any haddock for ages no uh, is, is it short short supply haddock or mm, is even, it just in wales that they prefer cod i don't no, know no, even fish shops are only selling cod they're not selling haddock and and the um pubs pubs pub. yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i mean it's our second choice isn't it cod we yeah we prefer, prefer haddock. haddock but that's that mm. yeah just picked a couple of bits up yeah when i was when i was young i thought you i thought chips swam in sea were like the fish I didn't know the were potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So Graham told you something about someone saying, oh, well, I didn't know potatoes growing ground. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Um, I suppose when you, you're brought up in streets, in middle of towns, you, you don't really... Unless you're told where these things come from, you, you've no clue, have you? It's like, in, um, is it Meanwood, they have a, um, farm. Oh, uh, yeah, farm, uh, uh, where school kiddies go to see animals and that, so that they know what animals, what look. animals look like and where they come from and what they eat and... Mm. Things like that, don't they? Otherwise, they'd never know. They'd never know some of them. Mind you, I suppose telly's a bit more, mm. a bit more informative nowadays. Whereas when we were little, I mean, you do carry strange it. little things around. I mean, I yeah. remember, I thought the Lord's Prayer when I was young. I thought it was our Arthur which art in heaven. <laughs> 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 You, you, you have do these, these strange things, things. Don't you? you don't yeah. really admit admit to it, do you? No, no. no. Yeah. And we used to um, when we were little. We had we lived in these back-to-back -back houses in streets and cobble streets. In cobble streets, and there were shops on ends of all these little rows of streets, different, you know, butchers and greengrocers and wool shop and different things like that and there were people that came round the streets there were there were a knife sharpener there were chip, cha man. chip man who sold, sold wood for your fire little bundles of firewood and there were pig man and he used to collect all your waste food to take back to his pigs and they were just up road and he had a uh, um, a, well, sort of. A, well, sort of like a, what your granddad would have, a few pigs in a, you know, yeah, and they yeah. fed them on all scraps that people yeah. threw yeah. away. Yeah. Not that you threw much away, but obviously there were some. Yeah. Um, I can remember that. It's amazing when you think that recycling were never spoken of and yet there was tons of recycling going on. Yeah. Because when we were kids we used to take jam jar, collect jam jars and take them back to somewhere in the, and bottles had a deposit on them. We used so to take back to shops. bottles back to the shop and there were a paper place where you'd yeah. take newspaper yeah. back to a place. There were lots of... They never, they never called it recycling yeah. in them days. And Ragman? Yeah, rag and bone man. Um, any old rags? Yeah, rag yeah. bones, rag bone. Yeah, rag <laughs> bone, rag, 
Rank bones. <laughs> rank bones. <laughs> <laughs> what bones are they doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Bring out your dead. <laughs> Bring out your yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. We'll get rid of them as well. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you didn't throw your knife away when it got blunt. You had it no. re sharpened and your scissors. Yeah. 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 I, I can just see him sat peddling on his little knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sharpening your knife. Yeah. yeah. On this big wheel. Mm. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah, I know. Ah, you didn't have to go far for things, did you? Well, no, I think... you didn't travel much in them no, days, did no. you? I mean, we, I think we were first family to get a car on our street. Yeah. Because my dad were quite ambitious. Um, mm. So, yeah, not everybody had a, mm. a car among our lot anyway. I can remember my dad coming to pick me up in a motorbike sidecar mm. at one point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think co-op, what first like supermarket that we had, wasn't it? But you, you still went in there and everything were behind counters, more or less, apart from a little bit in the middle. And it were all loose, like you got sugar that were put in a bag, pound of sugar. And they folded it up and put it in this brown bag. And then, and like lard were in a big slab. They just cut your piece off and put it in grease proof paper. Even biscuits. And butter. Biscuits were in. Biscuits a... were in big, big square canisters with a plastic lid. You just put you them know, in a bag. Put them in a bag. How much you wanted yeah. about butter. a pound of biscuits, yeah. Butter were in a big slab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's they had a divvy, yeah. The co-op, yeah. You got which stamps, which is a bit like you? these things that Tesco had. Tesco what do they call it? That you have a card. Yeah. It was a bit like that, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. You got stamps and you stuck them in, didn't you? Yeah. My brother can remember my mum's divvy number. Ah, he can. He's got a right memory as my yeah. brother. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a bit of nostalgia for you. <laughs> Whether you know what uh, we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, come on, Pat and Trevor and Pat Life on the Run, nostalgia all the way. So. Uh, anyway, is that it, darling? It, yeah, yeah, we'll call that a video. I'll put this little bit of film up about the boiler. Mm. All right. Bye. Bye.